Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on this performance testing with new load playlist. Now we have already seen how we can export uh, a test from a new load controller to the new load web so that you can start executing that test. But before doing that, you need uh, to have some resources. So these are the load agents where you will be running your performance tests. So let's see how we can configure a particular uh, load agent on the new load web. So I have opened the new load web here and then uh, from the home section, you can navigate to resources. So this will contain all your um, zones, uh, dedicated IPs and reservations. And these zones are nothing but uh, these are a collection of different controllers and load generators. So as you can see, uh, there are some cloud zones here. Okay, so these are created by default whenever uh, you start with new load. Uh, but as you can see in the controllers and the load generators section or columns, uh, all of them are zero, right? So when you start configuring uh, different controllers and load generators on these uh, different cloud platforms or your own um, local platform, then uh, there will be some count shown here okay and then it has got a particular zone id and that is how uh, you can configure the same zone id um, in your load generator and then uh, it can trigger that performance test on that particular load generator based on this zone id okay so the first step uh, is to create a zone okay if you don't have one so when you click on create you will get uh, different options like new load cloud then uh, static and then dynamic as you can see there are different new load cloud zones present here and you can select and create a zone from there but then you need to purchase uh, different controllers and load generators uh, on these new load cloud uh, or you should have access to them in order to uh, create these controllers and load generators in this particular zone right now if you want to try it out on your local then uh, you can select this uh, static zone okay and for this uh, you have to give a proper name here right so i'm going to call it local host for now and then i'm going to create one zone okay so click on this and that will create a local host uh, zone for you and then uh, it will automatically create a zone id here uh, as you can see uh, the infrastructure is static and then there are no controllers and load generators right now okay you can also edit this if you want you can change the name okay so that's how uh, you create a zone and then once you configure your controllers or load generators you can come here and refresh it and then uh, it will be displayed here okay so the next step is to start the load agent on a particular machine now it could be your local machine or it could be a remote machine okay so whichever machine you want to make it a load agent then uh, you have to start the new load load agent here okay so um, you can browse uh, in your desktop whenever you have installed new load you will also get this um, load generator agent okay so this is the application which you need to start and you can search for this uh, in your applications and you will find it, okay? So click on this and then it will launch the application in the background, okay? And uh, once it is launched, uh, you will see it in the taskbar. It may take some time, but eventually you will find uh, there is uh, the new load load generator. Uh, currently it is showing disconnected and idle because uh, we haven't connected this and also we haven't run anything here, right? But it will be shown in the taskbar. Now, uh, you can right click on this and there uh, you will find the new load generator, the status, um, about section, you can see the logs folder, you can also hide this from the taskbar and then uh, you can also quit, but we need to set um, some configuration in this web settings. So let's open this new load web settings here and then here uh, we need to configure our particular zone right as i said earlier so you need to choose a deployment either it could be sas 
because our new load is currently in SAS, right? If it is deployed on premise, then you need a URL location or URL connection for your new load web. Uh, if you're running it on cloud, then you can um, select the SAS option, right? Now you will require a token. Now this access token is the same token which we use to um, deploy the license on the new load controller. So go to your profile and here uh, you will find this access token, right? So copy this and come back here and then paste it right here. Okay. Uh, this is the host name uh, where this agent uh, is running. So it has taken my host name already. If you're using some other uh, remote host, then you have to provide that host name and the port where this particular agent will be running. And then we need to provide the zone identifier. As I mentioned earlier, this zone identifier should be the same zone number which we have uh, created earlier, right? So go back to your resources and here under local host, you will see this is my zone ID. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to replace this with this, okay? So this is how um, it will identify that it needs to run on this particular load generator. If there are many load generators and there are different zones, then um, you need to identify it with this particular zone identifier, okay? If you require proxy, then uh, you can click on edit and you can select the proxy settings here. And then finally, uh, in the check connection, you can click on test okay to see if uh, your connection is successful or not if the configurations are correct then it will show connection successful and then you can click on ok and now uh, you will see that uh, the status is still idle but it has changed to connected now okay so your load uh, generator is now connected to your new load web okay and uh, how you can make sure so come back to resources and then click on refresh. And now uh, and here you will see that under the load generator column for local host zone, you will find that there is one load generator which is showing up, okay? So uh, you have now successfully configured one load generator uh, with your new load web, okay? And you are ready to run your tests. So this is how you can configure different uh, load generators and controllers and different zones. So there are three zones. Uh, one is static, one is dynamic, and one is the cloud zone. Okay. So depending on where you are configuring your controllers and load generators, you need to create a particular zone and then you need to configure the load generators and controllers based on that zone ID. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.